Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode in the single player world. Today we are standing in a very familiar place, I hope. Uh, this is the major bay area for the future city over here. And what I want to do today is I want to show you what I've been working on. And why I said in the last episode I've been busy with a very big project. And you guys are kind of seeing it. I'm sure you might get the, the full gravity of the situation when we get up a bit closer. Uh, but today is going to be a good episode, I can guarantee you that. We've got a lot of stuff that I want to get done today. Few things all over the place, but let's let's get started over here. First of all, I decided let me go back up here because that's a good view, and I can show you everything up here. You can see I've been been hard at work digging out this area here. That whole all that water there is not cleared out water. That's cleared out land, and before the land was pretty much all the way there. You can sort of see it. In fact, it kind of wrapped around that way, and I've cleared it all out. And we're gonna slowly eventually get the the water at the bottom there to match up with this over here, the land at the bottom. Sorry. All to match up, but that's that's a big job. And before we go any further, this world is based off these big things. This is what's going to make our world really stand out. That's what I really hope, that like these sorts of projects just pull it together. The the details on buildings, the buildings themselves, are gonna, they, they are awesome. But I think what's going to really tie everything together is going to be the detail to the terrain, to just the overall layout of stuff. That would have been too close, that distance over there. So I thought, you know what? Just knuckle down, get rid of all that, and make that over there become... Uh, that's actually going to be a future little dock area over here. This is going to be where the ships come in, a dock, put all their wares down and all that, and get the good stuff, pretty much. That's, that's what's going to be happening over there. And of course, then we've got this whole huge area, which is still going to be expanded out that way. A lot of work, but it's going to be well worth it, guys. I guarantee you that. It's going to be very, very good in the end. And also, another bit of a plus side to what we've been doing, we've got a ton of stone and dirt and andesite, and even iron in there, we're doing pretty well. So before I go any further, I want to quickly show you guys what's going on over here. I'm going to be filling this up with water here, and of course the water filling up is an interesting one, but it's not hard. We just got to get two of these, then we should be good. Is there any water around here? Why can't I get any water? There's surely going to be water. There we go, perfect. This might actually be quite interesting, because underneath here, you can see this is slow moving water, which means I have to fill up all of that there, so I might even have some points which aren't filled with water, which is going to be quite a shame. So this is going to be pretty much me for another few minutes now, just filling up this water here, getting everything done. But as I said, I want to show you guys what's going on here, though, because this is a question I get asked about the mountains all the time. You know the snow mountains, the big, huge ones. You might have might have seen them. These ones over here, we're doing the exact same thing. We, we're just keeping this area underneath here completely empty, Mobs can spawn, which is actually not as much of a bad thing as you would expect. Because having mobs spawn under these things is, like, I mean, at first you seem like, that's that's a bad idea. That doesn't seem like a smart idea. But as long as we don't fall in, we're fine. If you, if you start falling into it, yeah, that's not a good thing. But the benefit to it is that you actually have mobs filling up the mob cap without having to fill up the mob cap, if you get what I mean on the, on the surface. It just creates little spawning rooms. So when this goes nighttime, all these mobs are still in there if we're around this area. We'll have significantly less mobs at night, in, if provided we're standing in this area, of course. So that's a little bit of a benefit. If that makes sense to you guys, hopefully it does. If not, you know what? Take my word for it. I think I think it, you're safe to take my word for that one. Uh, I've just placed this water in there a hundred times. So as I say, this will be my task for another little bit of time. I've kind of just decided it'll be good to fill it up, get things going. And I will slowly fix up the water underneath here one day when it when it comes to it. Oh, that was a big one. I actually saw just how much water got filled up in there. There we go. Perfect. Wonderful. Looking good. So, oh, look at that. I love seeing that. Just go in there. Connecting up together. So cool. So, so cool. Okay. Well, when I'm done with this, guys, as I say, I'll be back. Not too much later. And looking very, very good. Look at that, guys. Definitely come along. I've got to do that. That's a, that's a big mess. I'll fix that up at some stage, but that over there, you can't deny, is looking pretty cool. We've got to fix the floor up. That's that's a start to what we are doing. People from the stream, a most recent stream that we've done, might be familiar with the fact that I died to a creeper recently and lost all my levels, but what? I've got 73 levels. That's even more than I started with. And I'll show you exactly why we have got ourselves 73 levels. I pretty much haven't done anything to the rate of experience, but I have been hanging around the Enderman farm, the Enderender, as people call it. And I've uh, I've done some pretty cool work around there, which has been in the making for quite some time. And I thought, you know, oh, oh that was not good. That is not a good idea. Okay, we'll be, we'll be safe, don't, don't worry. 
Those guys, they're just not very happy with us. In fact, they could... No, they can't make it in here. Okay, we, we're good. We're good. Don't worry. Maybe I, I shouldn't have thrown an ender pull at the guy, but we're safe. So, back to here. This is what I'm looking at. Let me just test. Yeah, I can fly. Occasionally, I get a little bit of a bug coming through here, but look at that. Twin item elevator storage machine things. How cool is that? Completely symmetrical. I really hope they are. <laughs> I really hope they are. If I'm one block out, I'll be... I'll be so devastated. But this is a little bit of an issue that I've been having. I think I might have to do another one of these over here to just let it make sure it does align completely. What was that? That was, yeah, that was quite a few ender pearls that we've, we've got that have almost could have gone missing there. And I don't think I can do this. Let me try there. There we go. Uh, although those are probably just going off the edge. Yeah, never mind. All right, so I thought I'd quickly show you guys this before I forget. Really, really cool stuff. If you guys don't know this area, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the series, or you guys just don't know what's going on here. This is our Enderman killing farm here. And I've actually got to go down here anyway, just to replenish this stuff here. And I'm just going to get rid of these guys. You'll see a whole bunch of experience drops. A ridiculous amount of experience drops. Pearls are going in all directions. It's crazy. There's even pearls falling off the back there. Can't really see them too well. And now, finally, what was happening is we only had that one there, which was filling up all of those there. That one over there was taking some time. And a little bit of a, a, little bit of a backstory... Uh, we're going for 1 million ender pills. The, the, all of these storage spots here are for 1 million ender pills, which is a stupid number of ender pills. There we go. Look at them. Working a charm. I've got up to that chest over here. So these two chests have been filling up. And I think that's pretty good. That's been not too much AFKing. So we should be able to get to 100 levels and 1 million ender pills. 100 levels relatively soon, 1 million ender pills. I don't know how long that's going to take us. It's going to be quite some time. We're back in the fort, and I thought what I'd do today is I want to get started on the next little layer of this fort, which, of course, last episode we did the prison. And might I say, there were, there were some really cool ideas. Let me just quickly go down here and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we had some really, really cool ideas to do with this prisoner that was escaping. Really? Hit me again. Yeah, go ahead. One more. And another for good measure. There we go. You're dead. Done. Alright. So yeah, this little prisoner that escaped, that, there's so much cool stuff about what's going on. You guys seem to really like the idea of just having the extra story behind it. I think that does make a huge difference in this world. Just thinking about the, the things that are going on in the world. So many things, so many stories, and we're busy making them as we go. And I love to see that, uh, that all you guys are getting behind it. It's really, really cool. Today, of course, is the ammunitions room right now. And what I was thinking about this room, I, I kind of want to make it a room where all the ammunition is stored. So cannonballs, whatever else we can think of, maybe some other supplies, maybe some coal, maybe some food even. Who knows? Maybe something like that. We, I know that's not really ammunition, but you know what? It might just be a storage room. It would change it. So what I thought would be good is to have it as one side as that and the other side sort of a pl an area where the 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 general or someone in charge of this place would sit and they would have all their stuff. And I thought that would be on this side here. Although it's not 100% worked out, I think it could be a cool idea. And I wanted to try something out here. This is something I've actually thought about for, I've thought about a few times, is putting up those. Now this could absolutely fail and I feel like it's probably going to, but you know what? We're trying it anyway. Let's, let's check this out. So glass cabinet, Bookshelves. I don't know. I don't know if that will work. And I also feel like that's a bit too much oak over there. Yes, that is very much too much oak. Um, what if I do that? I don't know how I feel about this. I think the idea works in principle, but over here it just doesn't work. So you know what? I'm going to clear that. Cancel that idea. I've tried. But it was worth a try, as is a many, many, many other things. Because, of course, if we don't know this, we, we won't get any anywhere further. So, always worth trying those. Okay, cool. So, that was my first plan. My second plan, of course, is to put in a desk and stuff on that side there. We could even do one of the, uh, the jancy seats. Like, I like to, I like to think of them. The, the seats that we came up with, with the boats. I, I really like that idea. Just having, having real deal seats in Minecraft hidden in here. So, we could probably do one of those with a little desk over here. That's not a problem. And in fact, the desk is going to be kind of easy to do right now. So we could just put that that in there. Apparently, it's not as easy as I expected. Not at all, actually. There we go. Put that there. Put that there. Same thing here. Goes like that. 
there, there, there. That should be fairly easy. In fact, I could probably put push the desk over a little bit if I really wanted to. Put one of these down, and then we'll get a chair in behind that. So that could be the planning area, or at least where the, the head of this, this area sits. Then what I want on the other side over here will be the ammunition and stuff like that. And one thing that I thought was really cool were using Wither Skeleton Skulls as cannonballs. Look at that. From this side, it, it really doesn't look like a Wither Skeleton Skull. What I hope to do is put a block over here, uh, right where that head is, of course, but that wasn't what I was planning on putting there. What's the best thing to break heads with? These? I don't know. Uh, and then we can maybe put a bit of coal or something just around the place to look like a big pile of stuff. I thought that could be really, really cool. Add in a few of these. This is this is pretty much just the basic stuff that I want to do here, guys. Nothing too crazy. Note blocks, I think, make a great addition as a crate. Look at that. Pretty cool, maybe get rid of that one. And of course they are break very easily breakable. Cool, so that works there, that's that's a good idea. I'm gonna have to go back down to the base, to well to the main base to get some coal to do the rest of that. I wanna just put in a crafting table because that always works quite well, there we go. And what I wanna do right now is something that I'm not 100% sold on, but I do need your help on this one and that is to make ourselves a new banner because the banner that I've chosen I really like the idea of it and in terms of the new ballot banner it's really I need your help choosing some colors and I really don't have any oxide daisies do I bam I'm back and I've got some oxide daisies but the Jan seat I know it sounds terrible I did it I just said that but I feel like it kind of works it is in that's that's what we got there all right let's ignore what I just said it was terrible all right let's get going on what I wanted to do with the banner so first of all, the old banner, we had ourselves on like this, let me just quickly do it. It was a black ink like this, and I actually need to make some red dye like that. Uh, so the way it was working is we had to do a cross like that, so that gives us that cross there. And then what we did is we would go from the red cross, we'd do the white cross again right above it. And what that does is it gives us this little light red tinge, I don't know if you can see it, let me put it down here, let me just show you what I'm talking about. That very light color, which I really do like. I like that it, it's got that little light white, like, well, currently it's light red, but before it was that light gray, and it really worked so well. So then what we do is we do that. We put on the red flower like that, and then we do the same again with the white like that. And I want to try out what this looks like. And the reason why I want to add red into this, and this is what I actually need you guys' help for, is does this look a bit better? Do, well, I think it does, first of all. Uh, and would you say red is the color of this city? Because think of the other city that we had, the other, the other area we had there. We had a bunch of cyan, which is more of a blue color, obviously. And I feel like we, we have to have each side in this war having their own colors. And I don't know why, but red seems very royal. It seems very, very much like these people have got their stuff together. But blue could seem kind of cool as well. So that is why I'm so conflicted. I'm very conflicted between each of these uh, colors, of course. That's, that's just the way it is. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stick around with red until you guys tell me otherwise. Of course, I'd love to hear your opinion because that does help me a lot. And I'll take those there. I'll put these here and do all of them. And now we've got ourselves nine more of these banners. So we can maybe hang one up on either side of them over there. Perfect. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, if you guys haven't seen this before, bam, we're sitting in a seat. I, I actually need to fix this up because I found out last time if I just put a daylight sensor where I've put in that slab there, that puts it on the right level to not show up on here. So that, that's a little thing I'll have to add in a bit later. It's a bit of a pain in the butt to put in here. If you guys ever want to see how I do this, I can, I can always try do one in a video for you guys. But here over here, we've got ourselves here over here. Okay, interesting choice of words. But right over here, we've got ourselves our coal. I want to maybe add in a few extra little textured blocks in there just to make it a bit more interesting. And I think that's going to be this area. I feel like this area is pretty much ready to stay. We're done with it. It's looking pretty all right, I think. Uh, one other thing I did want to do before I go is I wanted to put in a few of these around there and maybe one over here and match them up with those. Perfect. All right. Good. That'll work. And obviously a carpet or something in here. Now, the next thing that I have a bit of a trouble with, and we might actually go down one level. Let's just go, go down another level to the future room of the, the cruise. Well, this is cruise cabins. I was about to say cruise cabins. The sleeping quarters. That's That's it. And what I want to do here is I want to add in a carpet, but I'm kind of conflicted because if we do the red, uh, we could maybe try. And I, I've given these things 
so many opportunities to work for me and the only ones that I can find that work are these, the uh, black glazed terracotta. And I think they look pretty cool as a carpet. Of course, that's not the coolest of shapes, but I was thinking maybe we could try this. Maybe we could try see if we could just be sneaky enough to add in a bit of red glazed terracotta somewhere. I need to try it out in a few places because if, if we do go for red as the color, it might just work if we could put it behind something. Maybe actually, let me, oh, these are four. These actually could be a, not a bad idea. So I could possibly try doing that. Does that give me a different one to it? Yes. There. And I'll go in here. Something like that could be cool. If we could put that in behind one of these things, it means we can also use the uh, these sorts of things like uh, stairs or something to hide it and maybe just make it look like a single block. That could be kind of cool. Not in, not in the place that I'm talking about, but we could do like a square, a small square, and just get it to work for us. Those are some ideas, the only ways I can think of this stuff working, because sadly, these even numbers, even numbers are a killer, and you can only do these with even numbers unless you put something in the middle and break it up, which I'm not a fan of. So what I want to get going on now is this area here. These are going to be the cabin, well, not the cabin, the sleeping quarters of the crew, or the, uh, the, the soldiers, the people who man the fort. I think that'll be pretty cool. We'll probably put in maybe one, two three, four, five stacks of beds. That's 10 beds. That's, that's a good amount of beds. I think this will work. And then of course we've got the, the secret hatch over here, which is going to be sort of hidden, I guess, or kind of ready for in case they have to run out of it. I guess the words for these could be barracks. That could be the word. I'm not too sure, but this is what I've come up with so far. Just a very simple layout to the room. The beds around here, normal, the bunk beds I like to do with the trap doors work very, very well, I think. So what I want to do to do a bit more to make this place look a bit more structured is I thought putting these banners next to this would make it look like it's a, it's supplied by the city for the city. And these people are just uh, the workers at this, at this place here. I thought that was a pretty cool little touch. Another thing I thought could be kind of cool. And actually now this is in the way is to put some of these down, but that's all right. We've got space over here to do some stuff. So maybe I could do some of these over here, some little trunks over there, maybe another one over here and there. And then I was going to put in a bookshelf over here as well, but I don't apparently have the space, but that could work all right. The only thing that I'm not liking about this area, which we are about to fix up, and it's kind of obvious, it's the roof. It's really not working for me. So what I think could be kind of cool would be to add in a little bit of, it's a kind of a smart little way of doing things. I like to do this this way. It makes it look really, really uh, fancy, at least. And it might be a bit over the top, and perhaps the dark oak is a bit too much. We'll, we'll see about that. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to make a little bit of a design going across here. This is an even number as well, might I add. So it's, it's going to be somewhat interesting but with uh, where it comes together in the middle here. But what I want to do is I want to pull this up here, maybe do something a little bit like, let's get in there, like that. Another one over here like this, something like that, just to create these super cool arches, things like that. Look at that. that. That can look really, really cool. We get one on this side. We'll get one on the other side as well. This is kind of easy to copy over because all I have to do is I have to just uh, double up and then remove. So if I do that there, 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 and this sort of thing here, I should be able to get everything on. And then of course, can't forget those there and so that, that's sort of a little easy way of getting this room to look a little bit more interesting than what it was before, because of course interiors are my strong point, but I think adding a few details like that definitely makes a cool, cool change. And the next thing I want to do is obviously the ceiling to go on top of this. And for that, I want to try out, I know it seems kind of strange to be doing quite a big, big change in colors. And not only that, it's also going to be painting my butt collecting more oak. I always feel so bad destroying this oak because it takes so long to gather. Uh, but putting in oak over here, just at the top, I know we've got the different color of wood. We got the spruce, we've got the oak logs, then we got the dark oak. And sometimes this is a bit of a, a building crime, but it's all right. I think we, we can get away with this. Let me just put some of these over here. Maybe just pop myself up there. Perfect. And I won't be able to place one on here. So that will dictate where the ceiling must be. Right around there. And I think we might have a bit of a trouble over here, let me just do that there. 
Yeah, we can't place that over there. We get rid of that block there. Let me do use my very last ender pearl. Okay, that is not ideal. What that means to me, the fact that 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 over there can't fit in with these over here means I'm gonna have to do a spruce roof, which is not ideal. I don't want to have too much spruce around here, and I could change the floor color over. But I don't know if I really like the idea of changing the floor color over because that won't carry on the whole way. Man, some building building things sometimes get a bit too thinky. Like well, I'm really overthinking this, but I think maybe the spruce will be good on there just to to make that work. Of course, got no real other option. And there they are, all done, looking good. I've got a rogue one of these. Let me get that. That'll bug me if it stays there. But this is this is the sort of stuff that I think really does make these builds come alive. Just adding in a few little bits and pieces like this. You know what? It could look a little bit tacky, but I think it works quite well. I think it works very, very well, in fact. But as I say, sometimes the interior stuff I find in builds just doesn't pull together quite as good as the exterior stuff. And I think that's just the nature of the game. Uh, but I think somewhat successful. I've put in some paintings, put on some stuff. Looking good, I think. And then going upstairs, let's just have one last look at that. Because I think that works out very, very well. There's a little bit of storage. This over here. I still need to fix that up, but I think it is overall a, a successful day in this world. So I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit of a different episode. I want to go back to building some big buildings in the next one. I think that would be kind of cool. Maybe big, maybe small, who knows, but building buildings. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe not interiors for the next episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.